Hey guys, I'm Roland, the Tech Fusiest. Today we're going to take a look at another pair of wireless earphones. Stay tuned. Bleak, the company behind the Hummingbird, has asked me if I would like to review their product. Keep in mind this isn't sponsored, so my thoughts and opinions will stay honest as always. And I hope you enjoy. The box up on first inspection looks very premium and very well designed. The company has clearly put a lot of effort into the package to make sure it represents a premium product. Opening the box we'll first find the earphones. Underneath those we'll find a user manual, warranty card and some stickers. Under all of that paper we'll find 8 set of different sized ear tips, a micro USB to USB A cable and a beautiful leather like carry case. Overall the packaging feels very premium and I really love how well it is designed. The design on the Hummingbird is simple, elegant and very classic looking to other sports wireless earphones. As you would expect from most of these earphones, it's built from plastic, however using it for a couple of weeks, I can tell you it will hold up well over time, as it's very durable. Unfortunately the earphones are not IP rated, but they do have waterproof and sweatproof nano coating, so it should be just fine during a workout and running in some light rain. The flexible back arm that loops around the back of your ear makes it very comfortable to wear as it adapts to you. That's not all, it also allows you to wear the earphones comfortably in a secure way, so it also ensures that it won't fall out of your ear when doing any sports or sport activities. The cable that goes around your neck is rounded and the controls can be found on the upper left of the left earbuds. On both the left and right earphones you'll only find the company's logo, which I would have personally preferred to be slightly smaller, but the logo looks good, so I'm not going to be nitpicking on this one. Overall the Hummingbird has a very classic, sporty design that not only looks great, but also very premium. Now I've got to be really honest here for a minute, I've never liked these kind of sports earphones as they've always looked uncomfortable to wear. Truth to be told, I judged a book by its cover and never tried them on before. Now that I've been wearing these for some time, I must admit that I was very wrong. Wearing the earphones with glasses on wasn't very comfortable at the beginning, but I eventually got used to it and it became very suitable. It took me about 10 minutes, so it's not a big issue by any means. I found the upper placement of the controls a little awkward at the beginning, and it took me some time to get used to, but after a week of use, I was able to use it without any issues. The controls are fairly simple, it has a volume up and down and a play pause button. The volume buttons can also skip or go back to a previous song while the play and pause button also powers on the earphones and allows you to trigger ambient mode. Ambient mode allows you to hear the outside environment around you by amplifying the nearby sounds. This can be enabled by double pressing the power button. The feature can be very handy while working out or having a quick few words with someone, but be careful using it outside as the cars and the wind can give you some very loud feedback. One feature I find missing is the compatibility to trigger voice assistance. One could argue that this isn't required and needed for sports earphones, but there may be a few people out there who would happily take advantage of it. The performance of the Hummingbird was exceptionally great, it never disconnected for any reason and connecting was also a breeze. Overall the performance was excellent and I really enjoyed my time using it for all sorts of activities. The audio quality of the Hummingbird is excellent. As always, I have tested a lot of genres of music and it was always very enjoyable. I took it out on the street to see how well it would cope with all of that noise around and it was surprisingly great. I could hear moving vehicles left and right but it blocked enough noise that my music was still very enjoyable, so in a gym while working out you should have no issues listening to your powerful tracks. The lower frequencies, mids and highs are all on point and I didn't feel the need to use any equalizers of any sorts. All sounds were clear and crisp and it will certainly get the job done while working out. But let's not forget about the bass, as it's a very important element to actually enjoy a song. The bass distorts a little when the volume is maxed out, but when it's turned down slightly, it's very enjoyable and provides a great sounding experience. All in all, I am very impressed with the sound quality and the earphones great and useful features. The battery of the Hummingbird is advertised to last up to 14 and a half hours on a single charge. From my experience, the earbuds last a good 11 to 13 hours while listening to music on very loud volumes, and it certainly exceeds the 14 hours on normal listening volumes. Luckily, and surprisingly, quick charge is also available, and it allows you to put the earphones on charge for 10 minutes and have one hour of playback time. 
I've also tested this feature and it worked as expected and as advertised. Perhaps the only major downside of the battery is the way you charge it. The Hummingbird comes with the old micro USB charging port that is an old standard at this point. I'll let this slip through 2018, however starting next year I will be much more critical about this. The microphone just like in most of the earphones I've tested so far is usable, but it's far from being great. When I was in an empty room I was told there was a noticeable echo while speaking to the other person on call. I have then went outside and tested the microphone in a more noisier condition. As you would expect, the microphone easily picked up on the wind and cars around, and while it is certainly usable, the person you're talking to may not appreciate all of the loud noises. Just like most earphones, I can recommend these to be used while inside in a quiet environment, however I would recommend not using it outside due to the much noise it can provide while you're in the call. Overall the Hummingbird has everything you might want during a workout and even for some every they use. It has a stylish design which, although not IP rated, it can withstand sweat and small amounts of rain, it's comfortable to wear, sounds great and lasts long enough to get you through not one, but perhaps multiple workouts. The price of the Hummingbird tends to be within 50 to 75 US dollars on Amazon, while the UK has it between 40 to 60 pounds. For that price, including the lifetime warranty the company provides, I would say these are a pretty solid choice and a great value. The earphones are available in three colours, including black, red and white, so there are also a few personalisation options to choose from other than the standard black. I would like to say a big thanks for Bleak for providing me with this review unit. I really enjoyed my experience with it and I can honestly recommend it to everyone looking for sports earphones that's built to last, has a long battery life and great features that keep you going. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this review please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a like. If you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Also don't forget to check out my website defuses.com where we share important and interesting stuff. All I said, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.